is a harvest. Don't expect a harvest over a seed you did not sow. Are we together now? Yes. It is about you, but not all about you. You must ensure that you are able to extend to people. Someone was kind to you early this year. Listen, part of investing in relationship, write it down. Write at least 10 people who you are going to tell thank you this year. This remaining part. There have to be 10 people in your life who have made meaningful contributions. Be honest, be vocal, be intelligent enough to communicate thanks. I've taught you on Thanksgiving. Saying thanks or thank you is not how to say thank you. The goal of saying thank you is to make the receiver perceive that you are grateful. Until the receiver perceives that you are grateful, you have not said thank you. You don't say thank you at your terms. You say thank you until the receiver comes to an understanding that you are really grateful. Someone gives you a thousand naira, you say thank you. He gives you hundred thousand, you say thank you. He gives you a million, you say thank you. He gives you ten million, you say thank you. You are not grateful. No, just because you said thank you, you are, all of those things do not carry the same weight. Are we together now? The church is the place of wisdom. So this is where God helps to file our spiritual understanding. Learn, listen, let me tell you, there are people who may not have the grace for favor upon them, but their sense, gratitude midwives the presence of favor until favor comes. They are too grateful to be ignored. You give them, you give them a plate of food. They will thank you as if you bought them an aircraft. You feel guilty ignoring them because of how thankful they were. Six months after this, they are still reminding you again. But there are other people. You have made people to vow vows before God that they have to ask for forgiveness later on because of your attitude. I'm sorry if it sounds hard. I love you. You know that. But receive it as a take home, as a final word. Learn to be thankful. Don't take the kindness and the love and the generosity of people for granted. Your head of department was there for you. Say thank you. I told you it's not about giving things. We, somehow we have a mentality that once you bring money or once you bring items, it means you are grateful. No. Gratitude is feelable. You can feel gratitude. Thank you, sir, for helping me. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing that. And that includes, respectfully speaking, that includes spouses. Because sometimes the greatest helpers in our lives are the ones who are most neglected because of familiarity. Sometimes you need to take a special time. Parents, thank your children. Children, thank your parents. Spouses, thank yourself. Are we together? Your boss, your staff. Bosses, learn to thank your staff and subordinates. Don't say, if you are tired, get out of my office. Soon you will be alone. Be humble enough to thank them. You, you may be the face that is seen, but they are the hands that make that face visible. Don't ignore people's contribution in your life. Mama, thank you. Thank you. And Mama says, for what? All the text messages with the prayer that you sent to me all the time, they added to encourage me to what I am now. I'm just using this opportunity to say thank you. Mama may not be able to give you anything, but that sworn blessing that comes from her spirit will, will be like a lift to the next season of your life. Are we together? Honestly, there are many of us that are not grateful. I, I know this by the spirit. It, compared to the investment of God and people in our lives, we need to step up. There are people who can call uncles. Uncle, I've been calling. I'm the one who sent you a text five days ago. Uh, that rents now. And you keep, you send 10 page text messages. Then he transfers the money and you send one word. Thanks. You beg with 10 page text messages and one word. Thanks. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I obtain grace to be grateful. One more time. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace. Let me tell you, gratitude can be a stream of income. You can live off gratitude. Literally. Like someone lives off real estate, another person lives off business. There are people you see, you think they are scammers because you, what are you really doing? They live off being grateful. 
even to the Lord God of heaven that you get down on your knees and say Lord look what you've done look at your hand upon my life look at your faithfulness and God says but you said thank you yesterday you say I'm coming back again and God says you've done this for me you are ready for the next level and that chapter opens up one of the greatest ways to maintain relationships I am telling you no matter how how ignorant you are about the laws of relationship learn gratitude and you have mastered over half of the keys to maintaining relationships nobody runs away from a grateful person you can run away from a gifted person but not a grateful person please write it down gratitude 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 someone learning number four are you ready for number four this is very serious and I want you to please pay attention the fourth 